Hey, Mrs. Zam here, and welcome back to another episode of The Final Frontier 2. Today, we're going to be the Nether. Yes, the Nether, cuz... I do want to set up our warehouse. Okay, and this warehouse needs... A nether chest, which requires us to get an Ender Pearl. And I think it would be better to farm Ender Pearls in the Nether. Right, also... We need this simple storage network. This is going to be our first storage system and going to transition to either applied energistics or no no we're not going to dabble with applied energistics because if you take a look at the additions of the refined storage it has it has this wireless that's the infinite this one right here it has this infinity range booster which i think it will infinitely boost the range of our wireless transmitter right here and also there is an actual upgrade to the infinity range booster which is the dimension card and i believe we can access with this we can access our storage in any in other dimensions which is really nice between episodes i've set up this simple ore processing where we put the ores here it will be pulverized though we have ore doubling then we'll be uh, exported to this barrel right here and then this emerald furnace from the iron furnace says mod will auto input as you can see it has auto input and auto output feature which is kind of nice and it doesn't use power but it, it does use some coal but man we do, we do have tons of coal now and as you can see i've changed up to a dank storage as you can see we have full redstone dust in there and that's why i just deactivated it because there's really no point in putting more stuff okay so all i need to do is to set up a portal actually and i'm going to be putting this one in here i know there is a prefab for nether portal it's just that it's it's hilarious it's hilariously big uh structure and i don't want to put more structures in my stuff because we have like little to no space or area right here so I guess I'll just be using this portal right here and all we need to do is to actually just lift the portal up. As you can see we have that one. Nice. So now there is a dooms mod in here right remember? And I think all of the dooms mobs will be in the nether. And so we gotta prepare for, for that one. And so that's why I upgraded our stuff to diamond chest plate. I just made use of our diamond there. We have like, I don't know, 100 ish. But yeah, 98, 95 diamonds. That's more than enough. Also, I forgot to craft a golden helmet. That's why I have this reserve diamond helmet. And yeah, in terms of ranged weapon, I might want to, to go with Mr. Crayfish's gun spot. I mean, it's in here, so why not make use of it, right? So it's, I'm relatively new to this because this is my first time using this mod, but I think it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is, you know, to pick your weapon and then grab the the amount of iron ingots that it will take. And I think I'm going to be using a heavy rifle because it has a damage of 18 and it uses advanced bullets. And I think it's like a a sniper of some sort and so we need 36 iron for that one and I've been smelting a couple of stuff in here as you can see and yeah let's do this so we need we also need I also want to die that one because apparently we can die the gun and so I guess I'm going to be using black die for that one. Oh, there we go nice so I want heavy rifle and it give it only uh, takes 36 iron ingot for that one so assemble there we go. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, it has this little animation wherein if you scope, it will do this animation. Nice. Cool. Okay, so you can actually upgrade this one as well with some attachments. As you can see, it has silencer, weighted stop. I don't know if... Oh, yeah, there we go. There's perks right there. Reduces projectile spread, reduces recoil. I don't really need that one. Because uh, this is a pretty slow rifle, so probably doing having this would be nicer. But we don't have any black dye anymore. 
How about this? Reduces projectile spread and recoil. Recoil might be nice. Medium scope. Light stuff reduces projectile. Reduce ADS speed. Huh. I might want to double this. Oh, this one. This one has like positive perks with no negative perks in it. It requires us to make gray wool. Oh yeah, I don't have any. Okay, never mind. Okay then, so I guess all we need to do next is to craft the bullet, which uh, it requires gunpowder and iron nugget. This one needs an advanced bullet, and so we're going to be using this. So that's four nuggets, which I have tons of resources now. There we go, and I guess I have gunpowders in here. Five gunpowders. I think that's not going to be enough. So I need... Oh, we can make... We can... We can die the bullets. There we go. So I guess I'll be needing a stack. Yeah, just to be sure, let's let's craft a stack and a fourth of that. Okay, so we now have that one. I guess we're ready to go. How do we reload though? Uh, press in game. I think there is an option for that one, and I kind of like disabled it. This one. So reload, I think, let's do this one. R kind of makes sense though. So let's, let's do that one. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Okay. So since we don't have any arrows, how about we make use, we put our rifle in our first slot. Okay, I think we're ready to go. So if things get worse, then I'll just have to type home. <laughs> the whole the tactical decision right there. I do hope we're in a good spot though. I do hope we're in a very good spot. Okay. Also, we have ores in, in the nether. Oh, it might be... It actually might be best. Oh. To put the builder here. Yeah, 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 but all I need to craft is... Okay, I'm not seeing any mobs. Oh, there is a bastion. Okay, okay, cool. Oh yeah, there is BYG in this. Oh no. Okay, so let's, let's grab this, because this is what I'm after, really. Here we go, what's this? Nether Nickel. That's lead. Oh, there's tons of ores in the nether, that's cool. Compact nether quartz, I'll take that one. I also need that one. Oh, there it is. I killed it. Oh no, looks like I didn't get it. <gasps> I got it, I got the gas tier. Okay. Cool. I have nether quartz. I have gas deer. I think all objectives have been have been uh, achieved. Okay, all safe. By the way, I made as well this this mega torch right here and this thing right here so that we'll have some oak logs, passive generation of oak logs. Hey, I'm back, buddy. Nice. I like this rifle so much. Okay, so we have our quartz now, which is cool. You know, it might be best to put this in the nether. Though I might, I need to upgrade first our emerald, or our dank now, so that we have extra storage. So, we can actually get this now and upgrade this, right? This is a fortune, yeah, I need a fortune quarry. Yes. How about we go on a little adventure? Let's see, we might stumble upon another dungeon. We got a whale. Okay. There is a volcano. What? What in the world is that? What is that? A crab on top. Okay, on top. Okay, never mind. I just, I'll just pretend I didn't see that one. Oh wait, there is a part of the, like a side of a mount, or a side of the volcano that is not flowing some lava. I might this might actually work. Okay, we're in. Oh, look at that. 
So this is normal chest. This is a normal chest. Let's uh, break this. No. Man. I think this is witherproof as well. Yeah. This reinforced sapphire glass right here. This is witherproof. So let's break this. Oh, this one isn't. Okay. Uh, not that great. I'll take the bones though. And the saddle as well. Okay, let's see. Where are we going next? Probably this area right here. I do hope there's something in here. Oh, there's a. There's a. This is what I'm talking about. This is the tower that I located somewhere around here. This this one right here. Hey, we get to see another one. You know what? Let's visit that one. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. This is a. This is a trap chest. So let's destroy the stuff. There we go. Those nasty stings. What do I need to drop? How about this? I don't need that one. But I do need the books. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Okay. I'll take that one. I don't need the fishes. I don't need basalt. I don't need fish. Common at mythic affix. Okay. I'll take these. Well, since we don't have any luck whatsoever with the Ender Pearl, how about we dive into something else? Let's go with Tinkers. Crafting station, hey. So let's put this one in here. Now, we need then to make the Tinker station, which I need more wood. So let's do this. Do this. Tinker station, cool. So let's put this one in here. And then we also need the park builder, which we can do that one pretty easily. Then let's make the chests that store stuff. So we need the park chest, which it requires us a chest. Do we have some other planks in here that we can make use of? Oh, we do have a chest though. Okay. And I guess we can make use of spruce or holly log holly logs let's see can we make this now part chest we need sticks so one two three four let's make this one right here part chest and i think it works with the part station or part builder i guess so then we need this modifier which requires us some chest. Here we go. Chest right there. And then lapis. Which we have lapis here. So modifier, chest. There we go. Let's put this one in here and I guess this will be our tool station. I guess. Yeah, we do have to make the other station, which we're going to require that later, in the later part of this tinker. Okay, the next thing that we need to get is the smeltery controller. And I believe we also need, oh not this one, but we need first to make the seared melter, I believe. And we need a seared tank, so I think I'm going to be using the seared gauge. Yeah, this, this one right here. So what are the stuff? We need seared bricks, which we need tons of grout. So we need gravel, sand, and clay. I guess I have some in here. And then let's melt these guys right here. So let's do this. Cool. Cool, okay. So I guess we need a lava for this one. And uh, I think I'll be putting this outside. Probably let's put this one in here for now. So seared tank and then seared melter. I guess that's how you make this. Yes. So we need first to craft or to get lava for this one. So let's get to the mining shafts and grab a bit of lava. Okay, so lava, tons of lava in here. Now there's a bunch of lava in here. 
So let's put this on bucket mode on. There we go, full tank. Cool. Okay, so let's put the tank to our melter. There you go. Yes, we have lava now. Cool. And then let's let's make the 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 tinkers the tinkers thing. This one right here. So it requires us for molten copper, which we can do that one pretty easily. So I think we need three copper. So this. I should make a door, or like, you know, let's destroy this temporarily. Okay, so, I think this will give us four copper ores. I mean, four copper, yeah, four ingots. So, in every three ores, it will give you four ingots. I think that's only, up, that only applies to the melter. So, we're not ore doubling, we're kind of like, we give, we get one ingot extra in every three ores so that's kind of like the basics of this melter that we have right here and then we need a faucet so this one right here and we also need a basin and then in order for us to make this we need a seared heater which i can we can do that one so seared heater this one right here Okay, so let's put you, something like that I guess, and then put the seared heater there and pour the copper. I think that's it. <gasps> Smeltery controller, hey, so we don't actually need this now. We can just get rid of this. And let's put... Mm, how about we put this one so something like this I guess or let's flush it with the floor or with the wall okay so now we need so I think I'll be moving this one to the side this one right here yeah yeah, yeah I think this this will do so I guess I need uh, let's see I need grout. Yeah, we need this. Okay. So let's make a very small for now. Okay, so we have our five bricks. And I guess this will now form. I guess that did. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey. Look at that. So we need, actually need to put more stuff here. Okay, but hey, we have a forming or a working tinker's smeltery. Cool stuff. Okay, so uh, let's see. We need we need to make use of our casting basin, and let's melt gold in there. So one of you for now. Okay, so then let's make a cast. This one right here, ingot cast. Or how about we make use of of this sword cast? Oh wait, you know what? Let's uh. Oh wait, since this is temporary, we can actually make use of sand. Okay, so let's see. Where's my tinker's book? I think it's somewhere here. Okay. So I'm not familiar with the basics of the stats of a material and so we we need to uh get familiar with that one. Oh wait what this is the only the the okay what Yo, let's make temporarily let's see let's make a sword part there we go and then we need sand I guess sand cast then let's do this. And then let's smelt some iron. Let's smelt some iron. Probably it requires two, I don't know. 
So what else we need? Probably let's make use of a wooden handle. Can't make use of this. Yeah, wooden handle. I think that's okay. We actually need two wooden hand or two handles, and so I guess I'm going to be making use of steel for that one. Because we have steel. Yeah, let's make use of steel. So I guess we have our iron now. Seared faucet, isn't that? Oh yeah, yeah. It's all I forgot to put one more layer of stuff. So eight, nine. You. So I need two more. One, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Ah, cool. So then we have this and this. We need one more, and I think I'm going to be using steel for that one. So let's smelt. Now that is really annoying. So yeah, we need steel for that one, so I think I'm going to be using the stick one right here. There we go. And then... Hey! Okay, so let's make this then. We need a sword. So you... Look at that. A uh, tool is longer lasting, mines faster and damages more. That's actually pretty nice. Tool practically grows more materials when repairing. Made from the strongest iron. Look at that, so... Well, for the attack, it doesn't... <laughs> it's not typically fast. But we can put upgrades into this. Yeah, it's not typically damaging as well because it this one deals 6.2 well this one deals 7.5 but it's repairable so i'm not really going to complain that much but i think that will wrap up today's episode it's it's kind of messy episode but i mean yeah we did do a bit of tinkering and so i think that still counts i was really planning to make a simple storage or a storage system today using the warehouse that we're supposed to be going to build but since endermen are not cooperative so yes we can't do that one just yet so yeah guys you still haven't given me a name hey name this wolf this wolf na requires a name see ha huh, that tickles but anyway yeah guys that will wrap up today's episode i hope you will like the video if you like the video you know, give the video a thumbs up and me and Unnamed Wolf will be waiting for you in the next episode. Hey, if you love the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well so that you don't miss out with the next episodes, the next videos that I'll be uh, posting. So that's it for today. I hope you will have a nice day ahead of you. Guys, thanks for watching. Peace. To join forces